let me tell you something when i first got signed to atlantic they were reaching out because you know i wanted i wanted lick to be my single and atlantic was reaching out to all these rap artists. yeah she want to sing she want to she want to um she want to um she want me to get a, on a feature yeah so that so my label mates charging me 50 60 000 for a verse the fuck a lot of niggas a lot of these rappers they said no they said no my nigga they said they didn't even bother to hear lick they just heard cardi b no a lot of people want to make it seem like oh because i'm i'm pretty or something because of my assets that it was easy for me for a, a girl that looks like me to make it in the industry bro no these rappers don't give a fuck if you a bad bitch or not oh 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 they just wanna when you popping that's when they're gonna fuck with you so i really want people to stop saying that shit enough money that atlantic or nobody can ever pay or or anything to people to fuck with me period like nobody did no cheat code and then and another thing where oh a lot of people want to try to make it seem like oh my record went number one because we paid to get number one because if you could pay to go number one everybody who had a number one hit record on the billboard every body everybody will have one and it's not my fucking fault the fuck i didn't even, i wasn't even expecting that shit Matter of fact, when I was doing Bodak Yellow a little bit before that, I was already losing hope. I was already losing hope, my nigga. I was telling myself, like, yo, I'm so over with music because I feel like I keep doing records and keep doing records and putting it out there. And it was just so hard for them. And it happened. You just got to go to the booth. You just got to go to the booth and keep doing one, keep doing one. This is this is song. Oh, he says on it, but he said something like, every time I go to the booth, I feel like I got one. Everybody goes to the booth when they record and they always feel like they got a hit record. I have when I go to the booth and 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 some of them didn't stick. And Bodak Yellow stick. And no matter how people want to make it seem like I don't deserve it, y'all hear it. So stop acting like y'all don't hear it. When I finally started making money, enough money, to do whatever I wanted to do on. I, let me tell you something. Before Love and Hip Hop. Before Love and Hip Hop, right? I already had about $80,000 saved up from stripping and doing hostings. And I said, and I said, what am I going to invest my money on? I was really gonna open a salon with 80,000. I was gonna open mad stores. And you know what I did? In my dream, bro.